Is Bed Bath & Beyond really going bankrupt in your opinion? Well, yeah. They they did not do what they were supposed to do. Uh, that's from Abel. Um, which was, do what Ryan Cohen tells you and your company will be saved. Instead, they went, no, we're going to take on more loans and uh, fuck up. <laughs> that's, we're going to close a bunch of stores so now our revenue is way down. And that's not the solution. The solution isn't just like, let's just close down 20% of stores. Because then your revenue goes down 20%. And when revenue drops, your shareholders go, less money? And then you owe a bunch more from all these loans. Rather than just selling Ryan Cohen baby for a boatload of cash, you've been plenty to pay off whatever debt you have and to continue operating. And you can focus on your actual brand. Uh, they messed up. There's rumors that, that, that they're going to sell off baby at some point because they filed some paperwork that had to do with like mergers and spinoff. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll have to believe it when we see it. Um, but until then, you know, sit and wait. I mean, I got hose enough on my bed, bath and beyond calls when Ryan Cohen got out. <laughs> I mean, shit. I was, going to sell all that stuff the next day. And that evening when trading had stopped, he was like, peace. And by the time everything opened, it was worth dip doodle. Oh, well, that happens in life, I guess. I'll get a nice little write off of my taxes this year. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I know Ryan Cohen is definitely always doing something behind the scenes. I just wish that he'd be a little more uh, upfront with what he's doing. So I had a better idea. It frustrates me that he's not letting us know. And um, I'm still peeved at the board of Bed Bath & Beyond for uh, not going with his idea. And he dumped and my call options died. That one still smarts a lot. I mean, I'd be in Switzerland next week if... <laughs> If, if that hadn't happened. Okay. 